right, we're in the locker room at U.S. Bank Stadium at the Vikings, thrilling. 29-24 defeated the New Orleans Saints in the divisional playoff. We're with tackle Rashad Hill. i got to tell you, Rashad, I've always thought this entire year, you're the unsung hero. <laughs> Quiet guy, steps in. Talk to me about going into a playoff game and playing that Saint defense. Uh, man, the whole, the whole week I knew my talent was, you know, Cameron Jordan. Um, I watched him how he did Carolina O-line, and uh, I was like, hey, he got me a couple of times. I was telling myself, hey, I can't, I can't, I don't want to get embarrassed. Uh, I seen him like he's a, he's a good player. We was battling the whole 60 minutes. Uh, it's just like every time I grabbed him, he was always making a move off that. So, like I told him, I told him that though. Me, he was talking. He was like, you know, he asked what year this was for me. I told him it's my second year. He was like, whoa, it is. He was like, you a solid player, man. Keep keep it up. I said, man, I appreciate it, man. And I told him, I told him, I said, man, you the best I'm winning against since I've been. <laughs> He the best guy I went against, man, and uh, you gotta give you gotta get credit to that D line. They was ready for us, though. Uh, he was he was he was giving us problems all night, but I mean we handled our, we handled our job and came out with a victory. I tell you what, it's got to be scary being on an island out there. You're at the outside. It's hard to hear your quarterback sometimes. You don't get any tight end help. What's the bigger stress? Mike Zimmer looking at you because you missed a block, or the people back home seeing you miss it on TV? Probably Mike Zimmer. <laughs> If he's back home, you know, I can deal with them. But Mike Zimmer, though, uh, you know, uh, God damn it, Rashad, that's what he usually say. <laughs> no sense of humor. <laughs> no sense of humor, nah, but uh, he's a good guy. Mike, he always, uh, like, him and Tony, though, when they gave us some press up today, he was like, just calm down, relax, do your job, and put your hands on them and shoot your hands. You know how to play the job. You know how to do it. And um, and uh, I calmed down, and the last person we did score, I was just trying to wash him out of the pocket because he tried to spin back in on my trying to wash him. Then when I watched him, Joe came, and he threw the ball. And, uh, you know, it worked out. You know, we got the victory. I'll tell you what, it's one of the things people at home don't understand. Help them understand the difference between just being a good lineman and a cohesive unit. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Good lineman. Uh, okay, he, okay, what you just said, because he's a cohesive human, whatever you said. It's not easy <laughs> yeah, after yeah, a game. Yeah, it's not easy, man. It's not easy after a game. Uh, I'm still shot right now, to be honest with you. Uh, we, we are a unit, though. You know, uh, we feed off each other. You know what I'm saying? We're not no individual type guys out there. If one of us get hurt, we step in, you know, and feed feed off each other. Uh, you know, I learned a lot from uh, Joe, Rimmers, and Riley. You know, them guys been doing it for a long time. And uh, they, they tell me a lot, man, to be out there. And, you know, I watch film and D-Ron Vets. You know, Rimmers and Riley helped me out a lot, though, just about just experience. You know, being with them uh, helped me mature a lot more when it comes to O-line. And, uh, you know, them guys are there, man. They undone it. You know, Mike was at the Panthers. They went to the Super Bowl. And he told me, you know, Riley was, up, you know, he'd been in the league a long time. And that, just having them help me feed off them, and we feed off each other. But we don't have no individual type guys. We all together. We working. And I'm still in shock right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> I got to tell you, you know, in film room, you know, I was a lineman back in college. So here's the, okay. here's the key. We're watching each other. We don't watch these other guys. You got to be honest with this week. You're going to watch those skinny guys in the film, aren't you? You're oh, going to yeah. see that Stefan Diggs and Case Keenum oh, see what yeah. happened. Uh, yeah, I remember definitely going to watch that. I might, you know, we get a film on our, you know, time we leave here, be on our iPad. So I'm definitely going to watch it. I'm like, I don't know what really happened. And I'm still shocked, though, man. But, you know, first of all, just want to get thanks to God. You know, it was a blessing, man. And we fought through the, to, to the whole, you know, to the end. Because, <clears throat> what, 25 seconds left on ball on the 25? You know, they had to be nothing but God, man. And God bless him, did, did, caught it, and made that, made the move. And let's go to the touchdown, man. I'm still in shock. And I'm going to go home and, you know, hang out with my wife and my two kids. And just relax. <laughs> and I tell you what, you got to got to turn around pretty quickly because you got to oh, eat yeah. your Wheaties, got to get a rest oh, yeah. because your reward is you get to go to Philadelphia next week and play the Eagles. Talk to me about preparation for the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, it's gonna be more pre more preparation now, though. You know, uh, we have a lot of preparation with the Saints, but you know this NFC Championship. We know we win this. It's a lot more pressure when we win this. We're gonna come back home for the Super Bowl, so it's a lot more. You know, a lot more um, pressure. You know, I'm gonna go home and watch film. I'm gonna watch them today on the Eagles when I get home. Um, Get ready for them though, because you know I heard they got a good D line. You know, defense pretty good. I, I don't really. Doesn't I mean, everybody? Doesn't everybody? I know it isn't everybody <laughs> does though. But I mean, uh, I'm just thinking that you know what the challenge they got though. You know, uh, what's his name? Fletcher Cox. That's right. not. Yeah, I, I seen that guy do some things on, on film and stuff though. And they got some good guys. And Tim Jernick and I played against him in high school. So I know uh, back in back in Florida, I played against him in high school, and uh, he gonna step this game up too. So. I'm just getting ready, man. I'm going to go watch film. We all probably want to recover our body and go and watch film and get ready for the, uh, the Philly. Sounds good. Well, listen, congratulations. Thank you get a man. chance to win some jewelry here if you win a couple games oh, here. Oh, yeah. That's, 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 what we, that's what we want. We're going to bring it home to Minnesota, man. They uh, lower fans, though. They had it loud and rocking in here. They're probably the loudest I've heard it since I've been there. <laughs> they had it loud. They, they believed in us. They kept going with us when we was down. We threw adversity. So 
He's trying to bring it home for them. Absolutely. I appreciate your time from U.S. Bank Stadium. The Vikings winning 29-24 today. That's Rashad Hill.